Hey guys, so today I'm here to talk to you about the Valentine's Day collection from Lush. Um, I'm kind of a big Lush user, let's say. And basically, um, I picked up everything from the new Valentine's Day collection other than Lovebirds, which is the new soap. Um, I personally didn't like it, so I didn't see the point of me getting any. Um, yeah. So I'll let you know the prices. I'll also post them in the down bar as well as links to the UK site, Canada site, as well as the US site. So um, the US prices are the same as the Canadian prices. And uh, for Lovebirds, which is the soap that I didn't get, um, the price is $5.95 per 100 grams. And in the UK, it's three pounds per 100 grams, if you want. Also, I'll put a picture of it right here. Um, so basically this soap is supposed to be smelling like Keep It Fluffy, which uh, is a bath bomb. They have it in purple as well as orange. So it's it's a jasmine and kind of vanilla based um, bath bomb. And personally, I don't like Keep It Fluffy. Um, and I thought Lovebirds was like, it does smell like it. It's just a lighter version. So um, it is nicer than having keep it fluffy the bath bomb but it's still not that great for me I personally don't like the scent of jasmine if you're someone that really likes the scent of jasmine then go for it the next item that I picked up um, I was really really excited about it's called it's raining men shower gel so I got two bottles and these are like the large 500 ml bottles and basically this is supposed to smell like honey I wash the kids which is one of their infamous soaps um, which is this one here that has the honeycomb on the top and this one is so so sweet one of my favorite soaps um, really nice honey toffee smell so you've got that um, and then this here so it's raining men which the name itself is cute and the actual the actual shower gel smells almost identical to Honey I Wash the Kids. The only difference is that um, this smells slightly spicier, like kind of peppery almost is kind of the way I describe it. Um, it has something called lotus flower in it, which is uh, a little bit more peppery smelling. Um, is that I can't really describe it to you. It's just a little bit more spicy than um, Honey I Washed the Kit. And it's actually really, really thick. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, uh, but... <laughs> um, it's quite thick. So, which is really nice because a lot of their shower gels are really, really runny. So I quite like it. And the price for It's Raining Men in Canada and the US for the large 500 mil or 16.9 fluid ounces if you're in the States and you have a weird measuring system, um, is basically $24.95. And then in the UK, it is £14.25. I think that's how they say it. The next product I think is absolutely adorable, um, and it is the Magic Mushroom. Um, and this is a bubble bar, so bubble bar is basically you take a little piece off and you start running your bath water and you crumble it underneath the bath water. You can either use the whole thing or you can use little bits, whatever you want to do. And it's so, so cute. Um, it looks like the little one-up mushrooms from Mario. The price for this in Canada and US is $4.95 and the price in the UK is £2.30. So, yeah. And the smell for him is um, the top is supposed to smell like the red bit is supposed to smell like an old shower gel that they used to have called yummy 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 which was like strawberries um, I actually have the little bottle here that's yummy 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 it's like a pink color I don't know if you'll be able to tell it's a very very light pink so this one's really nice um, but it is discontinued so sorry <laughs> um, but yeah so this the top is supposed to smell like yummy 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 and then the white bits um, are supposed to smell like their signature vanilla fragrance. So, together they're supposed to smell like strawberries and cream. And I really do get the strawberries, but it is artificial. Like, you're not... It doesn't smell like strawberry strawberries. 
it smells very artificial. Um, but it smells really good, but it smells artificial. But so love that. Super, super cute. The next one is the X Factor. So this one here is really, really cute. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like a gingerbread man. So you see he's got a little face and buttons and a little heart there in his chest. So this is supposed to be, oh, my camera's adjusted. So this is supposed to basically be like their version of the voodoo doll for people that aren't very um, Valentine's Day friendly. So basically they don't have someone to share it with or it reminds them of someone they don't really want to think about. So smell wise, it's really nice. Um, someone was saying it smells kind of like licorice to them. I don't really get that, but it is floral. Um, it actually has ylang ylang in it as well as synthetic musk. So I don't know. It's quite nice, but not my favorite. But the more I smell it, the more I like it. But it is very floral. And the X Factor is. $4.95 Canadian and US, and it is £1.99 in the UK. The last one is another bath bomb, and he's basically kind of falling apart. Uh, this one here is really, really cute. It's um, called the Frog Prince. So it's got little lips on there. Well, they're not little. They're quite large lips. So it's got lips on there, um, and it is a little frog body. It's not a full frog, so be aware that it is half. Um, and it's really cute. So smell wise, it's very, very like powdery smelling. Jasmine's the main scent that you're getting from this. So it's not really my favorite smell, uh, but it is quite nice. Um, just it's that Jasmine that's in there. So I'm not a huge Jasmine fan. I just got it because it's absolutely adorable. And also, Fun fact is the lips are actually cocoa butter based. So what happens when you drop this in your bath, this melts in your bath and actually um, makes the water more silky and more moisturizing, which is really cool. So it's kind of like a built-in bath melt, if you know what a bath melt is. Um, also, a cool thing is that when it melts in your bath, there is a little piece of paper that floats up and it has um, something on it which I'll leave as a bit of a surprise for you guys. And it has a picture of the person that made the bath bomb as well as they're wearing a crown and they are your prince. So that floats up in your bath, which is really, really cute. Um, but you can see like just from holding it, powder is coming off of it. So it's a very, very powdery, powdery bath bomb. The price for that is $5.95 in Canada and the US and it's £2.75 in the UK. So let me know what you guys think. Um, also if you guys are planning on picking anything up and what ones you're planning on picking up as well. Also hit that subscribe button up there and so you can see more videos. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.